first of all, uh, I'd like to say thank you for everyone who made this possible. Um, to win an Oscar is, is an amazing thing. And I'd like to first of all thank my parents, uh, and they're gone now, and uh, my siblings, and, and of course my wife, Vic, and uh, Andrea Young, who helped make this, this such a, a great success, and my co-author, Edward Frankel. Uh, it's a great honor. Thank you all. I forgot my, uh, my the text. <laughs> yeah. Can I go get it? Yeah. <laughs>
the kind of things that the two characters in the, in our screenplay, Richard and Philip, would talk about about yeah. life and relationships and love mm -hmm. and about science and art and how the do they matter in our lives? How do they matter? How do they define who we are? How are we different because one is an artist and one is a scientist and, and so on? And so what happened about a year and a half ago uh, when? Um, uh, January, it was January of 2008. Uh, I just came back from Paris after about four months in Paris. Wait a minute. It would be January 2009. 2009. That was another Shh. test. Are you lucky to have me around? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do the higher map. That's right. The or, higher map. I actually do the lower map. 2000. Has it been already? Yes, 2009. That's right. And so 2009, January, and uh, I come back from Paris. And while in Paris, I got this idea that I want to write a screenplay. And briefly, I collaborated with, uh, with another mathematician, a colleague of mine in Paris. And we had this idea of writing a screenplay about two mathematicians who talk about math and also, you know, about life and love and so on. The, that project didn't go very far. But the important point was I started writing and I kind of broke that barrier. And then I, when I came back, I told Tom about this. And then suddenly it sort of dawned on me. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be marvelous to write a screenplay with him? But I was a little bit, I was a little scared to, to suggest it to him first. And then when he said yes, I was absolutely delighted because you know, for me to collaborate with uh, such a wonderful writer, especially for my first work of fiction, essentially. I remember Edward said that he would pay me $150,000 for the first draft. <laughs> and I said, uh, I'll, I'll talk to my agent and get back to you. But I'm sure that the pleasure of our collaboration was so much more yeah. than that. Priceless. Priceless. Priceless, yeah. And then he had this idea that why don't we place them on the beach in the Riviera? And I thought, what a marvelous idea, you know. Because, because you've been there too. Because first of all, I've been there. I'm a big fan. Yeah. And also, I was imagining that moment when, of course, when we start making, we will start making the film. Yeah. Uh, of going yeah, there, going out there, and, and, and do, do, doing the casting yeah. on the beach, uh -huh. uh, in this beautiful yeah. environment. It, uh, part of our agreement, uh, and I want to reiterate this so that Edward doesn't forget, part of our agreement was that I would, uh, that Edward wanted to play the mathematician character in the movie. Um, I did not want to play the, the, uh, the writer because the writer is actually 20 years younger than I am now. 20 years older. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm 21, but uh, but George Clooney can play me. That's okay, George. Yeah, that's if a possibility. If, yeah, if George, if you are there, if yeah. you're listening, yeah. if you're listening, <laughs> yeah. But in any case, I said I would be in charge of casting the female characters, and I hope we've settled that point that I'll be able to. I'll, I'll be assistant <laughs> caster. You can see how collaborative our entire <laughs> venture is. Okay, so there we are. And so then, okay, there we are. So I, I you know, wonderful. A mathematician and a writer sitting at adjoining tables uh, on the Riviera, and, and a beautiful waitress wearing high heels and a bikini comes up to take their orders. And now, go! And I thought that was the end of the movie. <laughs> 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 I said, the short, Edward, that's you want, you want the short movie. That's a one minute short trip. Uh, but Edward said, no, we should persist. We should uh, actually and, write something. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, I thought we had written enough. Uh, but uh, Edward wanted a feature film, which I was very much against. Um, but here we are. Uh, so, the film opens uh, with uh, the mathematician and the writer uh, having watched some beautiful women walk by in bikinis. And the waitress comes up and uh, she hears them talking about mathematics. mathematics. Yeah. And she goes, are you guys mathematicians? Yeah. This has not, never happened in life to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but here a beautiful woman asks, are you guys, are you guys mathematicians? mathematicians? And, and that sets up the scene, the, the first scene of the, of the movie, where... Um, Philip, the, the mathematician, uh, talks about mathematics and how he thinks that um, how he thinks that uh, people perceive mathematics um, in a way which doesn't quite reflect the reality. But but it isn't just their idea of mathematics; it's their idea of mathematicians Mathemat as mathematicians. human beings. That's yeah. right. So this idea of mathematics being a dead subject, a boring subject, and the, the idea of mathematicians as, as being the social misfits, and which I personally find to be totally wrong. And for me personally, this writing this was motivated to a large extent by the desire to sort of set the record straight. And C couldn't aren't you? Can't you set the record straight by just who you are? 
by, by, that's a very good question. And I do that every day. You do that on a one-on-one -on -one situation, or perhaps just one-on-two. <laughs> I don't want we to don't conclude you. <laughs> yeah, well, let's not go there. But you wanted to do this for a mass audience. For a mass audience. At some point uh, the, in the dialogue, um, uh, Philip, the mathematician, says to the writer, he says, uh, some of the work I do may only be understood by maybe 10 people in the world. How wonderful would it be to write something which 10 million people would be able to understand and appreciate? Yeah. And, you know, maybe it will resonate with them in some way. So this was something which I've always wanted to do, and I always consider that to be a really fascinating area, which, uh, being a mathematician, you don't immediately have this connection. Right. And writing, I always sort of envied writers, you know, and artists, that they are capable to, um, to connect with a much wider audience. It turned out to be, uh, as they say, a double-edged sword. How so? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a teleprompter <laughs> for my life. <laughs> well, you know, in mathematics, there is, um, in some way, there is only one uh, truth, and which we all try to discover. So, let's say if I write a mathematical paper, there are only so many ways to write it, and if if my theorem is correct, uh, then there is essentially only one way in which people can understand it. Not so in the arts. Right. There are as many points of view on, on a work of art as there are viewers or readers. Yeah. And this was something which I, just, you know, I, I, was gradu I started gradually discovering with people reading the script, with people watching my short film, uh, that uh, first of all, uh, it's unlike mathematics, it's something which is accessible to more people. And that everybody thinks that they, they can, have an opinion. can and should have an opinion. And, and perhaps many of them also feel they should express it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, about my mathematics, as I, uh, sometimes only ten people in the world might have an opinion, and 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 you could prove and they it. would be reluctant oftentimes to yeah. express it. Uh, I'd like to talk for just a moment, uh, uh, Edward, uh, about uh, my relationship to the script and the uh, the subtle mathematics contained in in the script. First of all, I tried to eliminate all references to mathematics in the script, uh, and was unsuccessful by my end. The reason is not because I have a prejudice against mathematics of the kind... Or that, mathematicians. Yeah, uh, the, the kind of thing that Edward is up against. Uh, but uh, rather that um, I only went as far as second year algebra in high school and uh, had to crib uh, the answers from my girlfriend who sat next to me, uh, uh, for all of which uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Shame on you, as Richard would say in yeah. the script. But, but there it is. It's a root truth. So that even now there's a lot in the screenplay that I just don't really understand. And, but uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, but every day, right, or, yeah. little by little, yeah. we try to. Yeah. So that said, that's kind of a, a full. So it's kind of a disclaimer a, that and you a do not bear any responsibility for the math. That's part. right. Yeah, the math is your burden. Yeah, I believe you. I gladly you accept it. Yeah. But when when I when I when I say that we met, we started working in two thousand eight. That yeah. makes you a little bit worried about the yeah. math. In yeah. that. Uh, no, as I said, lower math is my forte. <laughs> Higher math is his forte, and we, that's how we collaborated on the math part. Right? Although, I must say that you know, you're not a total stranger to mathematics, because if I recall correctly, in... Uh, one is the loneliest number. One is the loneliest said, number! That's didn't right. I say that? <laughs> that's what, Richard, that. that's yeah. what Richard says. In the, yeah. That's right. And so occasionally I can come up with something to do with mathematics. But also in your novel, uh, Curves of Pursuit, if I remember correctly, yeah. one of the characters discusses the mathematics of the spiral that yeah. uh, a football makes. Yeah, inscribes. So, yeah. Inscribes, yeah. right? And so yeah. you, that the character is, is, is kind of trying to find mathematical theory of that. Why, why, yeah. is, uh, why is the he's spinning, trying, yeah. why the spinning helps the, right. the football? He, he's uh, speculating on, on the physics of, of, of passion. He's having trouble with his wife, so he's looking to see if, to see if physics can help him uh, describe passion's duration. So yeah, I played, I played with math, but 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 as metaphor, uh, and uh, what Edward does is is about truth and beauty <laughs> in math. One of the questions that uh, people ask is um, the different mathematical ideas and concepts that are in the film. How do we choose them? Uh, how do we get to use? Where do those? they come from? Yeah, where do they come from? They come from God. Uh, some people.